What a feeling that was. Summer of 1970, Elvis Presley in his prime. MGM made a movie about it. Elvis, that's the way it is. No more scripts, no more storylines. Elvis could do his own thing. Be Elvis Presley. Good morning, Halloween camera. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, 30 years later, Turner Classic Movies and Turner Entertainment Company hire award-winning producer Rick Schmidlin to create a restored special edition of That's the Way It Is, using dozens of reels of historic, never-before-seen footage. And what we tried to do was we tried to put together the ultimate Elvis performance. We had gone in knowing that we were going to take all the interviews out and most of the talking heads. This version stays strictly with Elvis. I really like what you guys have done with it because it shows more of the personal side of Elvis. It shows what he was really like a little more instead of cutting in and out to different scenes that to me I didn't care for. Nothing against the original people, but I think this shows the better side of Elvis to me. Say one thing, you caught him at a good time. He's reading telegrams. How can he talk? Yeah. Best wishes for a continuing successful Vegas show. Hope to get a raise in the next six months. Joe Esposito. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> when we had people going down two miles below the earth in Kansas looking for unmarked cans that possibly contained the footage, and we found things. We found the original 16 track masters. So we were able to go in the studio and digitally remix this from the 16 tracks so that you could now hear things that you never heard before and see separations of music that you never had seen before. Well, I can't stop loving you. I said I made up, made up my mind. I think they're going to love it for several reasons. Just the, the, the interaction between us and Elvis and the way it all came, like you said, the way it all came together is great, you know, because it, it really gives a, a, people an idea of what it was like, you know. That's literally what it was like. I remember we were all pretty nervous about it, but because uh, you know, there's no script. <laughs> you know, what are we supposed to do now? Well, we just did what came natural. We did what we did, and that's that's why it's so accurate. When I watched this film, I enjoyed it because I knew all that stuff was there. And I'm, now I'm just happy that they've brought it to the forefront. He made everyone feel at home right away. It was very easy and very easy to get along with. This couldn't have been easier. We followed the camera in an intimate way to find out what the interactions and what the relationships were between each individual so that we could see the eye contact. I really concentrated a lot on the eyes. We had great eye contact on stage and he, he watched me a lot and uh, I always, I never took my eyes off him because you never knew what was going to happen next. So you had to pretty much uh, keep your eye on him at all times. Well, there's one point in the film that I'm right, right uh, towards the beginning of it. He goes in the song, when I say, and he, he wanted me to be there. When I said, I needed you. We rehearsed probably 200 songs with him. When we played them with him, it wasn't like a rehearsal. It was more like, we were just having fun. It was more like jamming almost. But Elvis was always in charge. You know, there was nobody else in charge but him. James, one minute, man. Wait a minute. They don't tell you when to start. <laughs> there was a team. It wasn't just Elvis and his band. If he wanted to change something, do whatever he wanted to do, he did it. But the band, they were great. They, they could do anything Elvis wanted. And, and Elvis loved that. And uh, that's why he got along so great with them. 
you forget some of the silliness that that's in it. You know, just like he's sitting there and the, the mic starts going over and, and he's looking at it and he's looking, you know, and I know what he's thinking. I mean, and, and but it's just the craziness at the time. He wouldn't allow the seriousness of, like you say, paying crowd to, to keep him from <laughs> getting tickled or, or getting crazy about something. He didn't care in that way. Love me tender, love me true. Thank you. And it was very spontaneous, too. He could be very serious one minute, and then the next minute he'd be uh, completely into something else. He did everything he could for his fans. He goes into the audience and walks in the audience. He acknowledges fans. You never see him pushing someone off. And his goal was to really please his fans and work as a package with his band. First time it happened, the last time it happened. It was amazing. I mean, we were all shocked that he even did that. And I'm sure the Colonel, Colonel Parker was too, but uh, it was great. It was great, man. And when he got back on stage, he said, Phew, boy, I don't know if I'll do that again. <laughs> but he loved it. I think it's gonna shock people when they see how good he looked. When he put on his white stage suits in 1970, he had a 32 inch waist and in the top physical shape, probably the best physical shape of his life. Thank you very much. Wise men say, only fools, only fools are shame. Oh, but I, but I, I can't help falling in love with I remember what those days were like, what he was like, how he treated people, and the warmth to get out of him, and it was like just one big happy family, working together and playing together. I feel good that I was there for the filming of that, and uh, it, it just gives me great feelings to see and remember Elvis that way. Elvis was a, was a true musician and a true vocalist, you know, and when he sang, I really believe the lyrics went through his mind, and then through his heart, and then came out of his mouth. 30 years later, this is Elvis from the Heart, a film that finally captures Elvis at the peak of his powers. A film not about the legend, not about the celebrity, a film about the artist, the performer, Elvis Presley. This is what Elvis is supposed to be. It's not just for Elvis fans. It's for people who want to be entertained by truly the greatest vocalist of the 20th century. Yeah.